Folks, my first guest tonight is an Academy Award winner you know from The Devil Wears Prada, Les Miserables, and Ocean's 8. She now stars as a con artist in The Hustle. What do men want? Boobs. No. Back door. Front door. Pegging. Oh, my God. Threesome. What, what is it? What's the answer? They want to be heroes. There is nothing more compelling to a man than a vulnerable woman. Observe. Oh, wow. You can just tear up like that. You can just balance a tear right on that lower lid. And can you make the tear roll down your cheek? Oh, oh. OK, but can you make it go back up? No, you try. OK. Are you constipated? No. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Anne Hathaway! Lovely to see you again. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's such a thrill. No, we were talking uh, in the last act about uh, uh, the, the Met Gala. Yes. Okay, you're 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 a fashionable person. I've become I've become a fashionable person. Blur. Were you at the Met Gala last night? I was not at the Met Gala. Met Gala but you've been in the past. I you've have, been, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. It can be fun. I have I have a great time. Yeah. I really I love it. It's it's just it's one of those moments where you're like nobody gets this. Like nobody gets to do this and gets to see the Met after hours. Yeah. And, it's as fancy yeah. as something can be. Oh my god, it is the bougiest thing ever. But it's like, you know, <laughs> but again, that's part of the fun too. Uh -huh. And Anna really like turns it out and does a great job and it raises a lot of money for a great cause and so yeah, it's sure. amazing. So now, now uh, I understand that you going to the Met one night you had a, a, a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction on your on your way to that because because what people may not understand is that it's not just you and the dress like there's it's you the dress and like handlers making sure the dress yeah. looks perfect oh, there's a this is the most photographed and... dress you'll ever wear except maybe the Oscars yeah no it's it's up there and it's a huge thing for for the fashion community like it's their moment to express themselves and express their creativity and so um, it was one year I was going as the guest of Calvin Klein and Francisco Costa and I was about a block away from the Met and I was like wow this is a <laughs> and I sneezed and my dress split like just straight up split open and because you're about... literally sewn into it. Well, that had to be after that. So, <laughs> so we had to. So I felt so terrible. So I'm pulling up, and Francisco was so proud of this dress. And I put the window down, and he's like, "Baby, you look amazing." I'm like, "Thank you so much. My dress just broke, and I've never actually seen someone turn green before." And he did. I'm like, "It's gonna be fun. I can go on the carpet. I'm gonna keep my arm down, and I'll hold it in place, and we'll get inside. And there's gonna be a needle and thread." And he goes, "Pull over." So we pulled over, went to a hotel. They found a scene. She sewed me into it, and the big thing was like, are we going to make it in time for the red carpet? Because it takes a minute. Sure. So we show up. There's nobody on the red carpet. I say, oh my god, did they miss it? And they said, you're just ahead of Rihanna. Go. <laughs> Very important. So apparently, the only rule you really can't break at the Met Ball is you cannot show up after Rihanna. That's just good. Sure. Yeah. No. <laughs> She's like the mother of the bride. Yeah. Now I understand you had another wardrobe <laughs> malfunction yes. just minutes ago. On the way here. So I have. So if you guys want to Google the out, uh, Google the pictures of me outside of your studio, and I'm wearing an outfit. Now you might notice I'm standing like this, and the reason I'm standing like that is because I looked down in the car and my pants had split. <laughs> like, like the whole. Wow! All the way to Christmas. <laughs> 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 Wonderful time of the year. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want. You do not want to lump a coal. Now, now you're wearing this right now. This is literally what you wore on the cover of Shape magazine. You just had this with thing. you. Well, I really liked it. Sure. And I added a shirt. Yeah, I was about to say. 
You seem a little overdressed right now, is what I was going to say. You know, I just wanted to be appropriate. Of course, it's vibe. CBS. It's CBS. So, no. I, so yeah, so um, I, I had this in my closet, and I called my sister, and I'm like, can you get to see the Stephen Colbert show in about 10 minutes with that suit? And she ran it down, and because I don't look too far, and mm -hmm. your amazing team steamed it out for me. Oh, nice. And thankfully, the accessories worked, so never right. panic. <laughs> That's nice. I'm glad they steamed it out for you. That's nice. Oh my nice. gosh, can I tell you though, getting out of my car today, like, because you know, there's like a row of photographers and they're like, and, and, and. I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you kind of like, how, how do I get inside? Pose, pose, pose. See, you just love it. And then you do it. You and just look fashionable. And the thing is, there's all these fans outside, and they're like, Anne, sign a picture. I'm like, baby, I will get you later. <laughs> well, now you, you got the new movie. It's called The Hustle. Yes. I understand there's, it's, it's slightly raunchy. Oh, yeah. Slightly raunchy or yeah. pretty raunchy. PG, but it has a PG-13 PG yeah. rating. Yes. How did, you, how did you make sure that you, how did you walk the line between the R and the PG-13? Because you, you have so many young fans, I'm sure. Well, I've got to say, when we, when we first screened it for the ratings board, we did have an R, and we felt like it was unfair because we had really calibrated the jokes when we were, when we were working on it to make sure that it felt PG-13. And Rebel went in, because Rebel, Rebel Wilson was a lawyer before she was an actress, went in and successfully argued our rating down from an R to a PG-13. Wow! And How? her, what her was reasoning that? was that she, set, she cited all of these comedies that were PG-13 that starred men, and she said, our jokes are no more raunchy or no more numerous than any of theirs. And you're treating us with double standards because for women, women can be just as raunchy as men, and it's not fair to have double standards. Now, I understand you're responsible for some improvised lines in this movie that you guys played around a little bit yeah. in here. Is there a particular... One that you're particularly proud there of? There is actually. There is. There's one line um, at the end of the trailer where Rebel, we're, we're trying to, anyway, we're doing this con and we're next to a guy and Rebel's got a gun and she says, Release the peasants. We're pretending to be princesses. And she says, Release the peasants. And he goes, You must mean pheasants. And I'm like, No, 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 don't worry, darling. She's a terrible shot. I'm British in the movie. And um, then Rebel shoots our butler and he dies. <laughs> and I have this kind of sociopathic laugh. And then I go, well, that was unexpected, <laughs> as my reaction. And I got that joke because of the time my, my mom accidentally drugged my dad uh, before sending him off. Uh, we used to live in New Jersey on the New Jersey Transit uh, Midtown Direct into Penn Station. How did she, how did she drug him? With Ambien. <laughs> what in did she defense, think she was giving She thought him? it was Lipitor. <laughs> So she thought she was saving <laughs> she his thought, life. But exactly, fact, she thought doing a good thing. And my poor dad realized it when he arrived. He'd fallen asleep on the woman next to him, <laughs> woke up, stood up, and he's like, something's not right. <laughs> Called my mom, and she, of course, denied it. And he's trying to convince her. She's like, Katie, Kat, something's wrong. And she f noticed it. She's like, oh, my God, I did it. Uh, gets, he sees a friend who helps him to a cab. My mom calls me and is like, your father has like, drugged your dad. <laughs> He's got to come and sleep it off in your apartment. So I'm running around my apartment. You know, I want to change the sheets so my dad has fresh sheets to sleep on. And I'm like, gosh, that, he really should be here by now. So I just put the sheets in a laundry basket, throw it in the bathroom, go downstairs, where my dad is like hanging off the, like, the reception desk, talking to our doorman. He's like, no, I mean, she's my daughter. <laughs> Let me up. <laughs> Let me up. I know really well. And my doorman is like, you wino. You are not getting to see Anne Hathaway. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, I swear he's my dad. And he's like, oh. And I'm like, no, it's, it's a long story. I'll tell you later. So I get my dad upstairs. I get him a glass of water. On the way to bed, I'm like, oh, Dad, do you want to use the bathroom before you, you take a nap? And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. So I go, and I'm like, oh, let me get the laundry basket. Because remember, the laundry basket's in there. My dad goes, I have it and leans down to pick up the laundry basket, falls forward, smacks his face into the mirror. I'm like, oh my God, Dad! And he turns around and he goes, well, that was unexpected. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and I loved it. Thanks, Dad. And I thanks, thanks Dad. Dad. Yeah, now it's in the movie. It's in the trailer. Well, we have to take a little bit of a commercial break. Uh, if you can stick around, please don't leave out there because we'll be right back with more of the lovely and talented Anne Hathaway, everybody.